Welcome to Eco Action, where we aim the camera for a moment on people who have a strong belief in taking action to protect our Earth. We call them Eco Warriors. And I remember the shock uh, of seeing a house that I loved with waves breaking underneath it. Global warming is a global problem. Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to talk to us about global warming? Uh, no. One minute. Excuse me, you got a minute to talk about global warming? Global warming. Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to talk to us about global warming? A very important French, issue. I'm not interested by global warming. But it's happening all over the world. Not, in France. in France. Just what is global warming? According to the EPA and an intergovernmental panel of over 2,000 scientists, global warming refers to an average increase in the Earth's temperature, which in turn causes changes in climate. Every community is going to respond according to how they are affected, but there is one that seems to typify the complexities in every manner, shape, and form. New York City, because of its large, diverse population, its global centers, and its vulnerable location. Studies indicate that the sea level around New York City will rise as much as 40 inches in the next 100 years, and hurricanes will increase by 50%. EcoAction paid a visit to the principal investigators, Cynthia Rosenzweig and William Selecki of the Metropolitan East Coast Region Assessment. Right now, we have, on average, about 13 days in a year that are over 90 degrees. The projections show, at the end of the century, the days over 90 will be anywhere from 25 to 80 days per year. EcoAction took a ferry out to Fire Island to visit the home of Erica and Jerry Freed, who have been struggling with hurricanes for the last two decades. This is where our house used to be, behind this row of fencing over here. We had to take down this entire house and move our house all the way back. In the event of a, a rise in sea level by seven feet, the, the, the island would be virtually, or this portion of the island would be virtually underwater. While cities and houses along the east coast face impending disasters, far to the northwest, Ecosystems that have taken thousands of years to develop are already lost. We spoke with Dan Ritzman, who has lived in Alaska for the last decade and has most recently worked with Greenpeace. In the summer of 1998, we took our ship, the Arctic Sunrise, and we visited eight villages in the Bering and Chukchi Sea, talking to villagers about changes in the weather that they've seen and what that means to their culture. How are we finding this winter? Not as cold as uh, about 10, 15 years ago. When the ice comes in, we usually walk out there on the thick ice to get our walrus or seal. For several years now, we never do that for, for a long time. Do you feel removed from the problem? Are you too busy to be a part of the solution? Can you leave it up to corporations to monitor their own actions? Perhaps you're cynical about government agencies, but you don't have time to march around the Capitol. Don't let that stop you. Some people take action from work or from home. We call them armchair warriors. The way 2020 Vision works is uh, we get our members to join what we call kind of a letter writing network. And they receive uh, cards like this that once a month say, here's the problem, here's what we'd like you to do about it. Uh, write a letter, sometimes it's a phone call, and uh, in just 20 minutes a month we say you can make a difference. And I was like, oh, wow, I could, I could do 20 minutes, and um, I also could maybe sleep a little bit better at night knowing at least I was doing something, you know, something's better than nothing. When I say the word eco warrior, what do you think of? That cartoon guy from uh, Planet. Uh... Somebody that's fighting for our environment. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Captain Planet. Well, basically, it's someone who spends their money with consideration of the planet. Native Americans have a saying that we should plan ahead for the seventh generation. Whatever we do today should create no troubles for tomorrow. This month, EcoAction visited a middle school on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, the Connolly Center for Education, where a class of eighth grade girls had some important concerns about a new bill in Congress that would weaken regulations on pesticides on foods. Hopefully, these eighth graders will go home to talk about pesticides with their schoolmates, their parents, and with the grocer on the corner. 
Most importantly, their letters will land in the offices of their local congressmen and women, who will be voting in the next few weeks on the bill that weakens standards on pesticides, standards that directly affect the health of these young women and everyone in their community. Check us out at ecoaction.tv. Let us know what's going on in your community. We also encourage artists to submit your videos and animations. Contact us. Together we can make a difference by taking action. Ecoaction.